How's it going guys? This is Art of Zod. Welcome to my first ever trailer reaction video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a watching of the Deep Rock Galactic Season 4 trailer. And I'm looking forward to this one because, I, as you know, I play DRG a lot. So it, it, I thought I'd try and do a trailer reaction of this and get my opinions and views on it. So yeah, let's, uh, let's not wait any, waste any time. Let's get watching this amazing trailer it came out uh, just today i believe so uh, um yeah let's let's have a look at it now hello miners it is time for another drg update and we are back with a new rundown welcome to season four critical corruption though we have gained great ground against the rampaging lithophage in the past months it remains a constant threat on hoxies despite our best efforts and to make matters worse, reports of alarming new mutations are starting to come in. It is clearly reacting to our presence, and our endeavors are getting even more hazardous moving forward. Let's get right into it. The bad news first. The play cards you have encountered previously have evolved. They will now turn into lithophage corruptors, ravenous, fully mobile abominations that spread rock pox wherever they go. They appear impervious to normal gunfire, so you will need to use the cleansing equipment to get through their exterior shells and expose their soft inner core. Be advised, the Lithophage Corruptor is no pushover and will fight back to defend itself. Walk with care, miners. Furthermore, several more strains of Hoxie's wildlife have succumbed to the rock pucks and gotten infected. You can now expect to meet infected Macterra bombers as well as infected Nadocyte breeders. Just lovely. Be on your guard as always, as these new variants will be even more hostile than usual, while also propagating the spread of rock pox. As if that wasn't enough, Hoxies itself seems to fight back in its usual way, by spewing out yet more ghastly creatures from far below. Scanners report sightings of two new monsters. The Glyphid Stingtail is a powerful, heavily armored beast. It has a grabbing tail, capable of incapacitating any enemy and goring them against its massive horns. Mind yourselves around this one. Meanwhile, the Glyphid Septic Spreader is a malicious cousin of our old friend, the Glyphid Spitter. This one fires heavy globules of rancid biomatter, which spread out in a wide area around impact. Just another day on Hoxies, I suppose. But as always, our guess. enemies are not the only ones to adapt. R&D has come up with a little something something we expect you'll enjoy. Jet boots. You will now be able to recover crates of high powered jet modules in the caves. Attach these to your boots and turn them into fully functional jet boots, giving you a much needed leg up during any hardships you may encounter. Just um, consider wearing a helmet, perhaps. Back home, a bit of redundant machinery has been cleared out, opening up the space rig a bit more, which handily allows plenty of space to install a training terminal for the coded locks you will encounter on the jet boot crates. It would appear some smart Alec has seen fit to build an arcade cabinet to fit it into. At the Abyss Bar, enjoy a delicious new brew, the Randovisor. This potent ale mm. reportedly instills a sense of adventure and lust for challenge in whoever drinks it, causing questionable decisions in regards to equipment loadout and uniform. Apparently, finishing missions using these loadouts has become a bit of a fad. Well, I wish you luck. At the loadout terminal, a new option to randomize all your gear and upgrades has also become available, enabling you to quickly set up challenges for yourself. Why would anyone do this? Well, never let it be said, we do not wish to enable our employees. Meanwhile, in your wardrobe, your armor has now come with a new option. Toggle between sleeveless versions of all your own sets at will. Summer is almost upon us, after all. And capping all of this off is, of course, this season's new season pass. An all-new cosmetic tree and 100 new levels of gear, victory moves, weapon frameworks, and crafting materials to unlock, with all the usual script challenges to go along with it. And as always, anything you may have missed in previous seasons will simply go into the existing loot pools, so nothing is going away forever. To commemorate the release of the season is, of course, also a new cosmetic pack up for purchase. 
The Decontaminator Pack features a brand new weapon framework to go with our previous DLC pack of armors. Combating a lethal pandemic has never looked sexier. It looks good there. Miners. I like that. Season 4 is upon us. Mm. Suit up and get to work. We've got quotas to meet. Welcome to Critical Corruption. Critical Corruption. Control, yep. Signing off. Very nice. Rock and stone. Rock and stone. Rock and stone. Yeah. Is this looks good. Ways to drain our wallets. <laughs> 15th that's like a week and a half away so yeah I'm very very impressed um wow wow there is a lot to there's a lot fair few things going on in this and I'm, I'm looking forward to it um let me put the volume down here um yeah this new uh, entity kind of like a boss mid boss I mean in in the previous season not this one uh, season two I believe they had the uh, nemesis which you'd fight randomly so I guess this is like the next version from that. And what makes it interesting is you have to use the uh, the cleanup the cleanup kit. So this is going to require a bit of teamwork to uh, add the uh, goo on it and then vacuum it off and to probably loosen the armor to attack the core of of this creature. But yeah, I like I like that. That means more teamwork is going to be needed. So I like I like those sort of things. Very good. Look at that. Smash it down. So I guess like all bosses, you're gonna have to. One will have to understand its pattern of attack. Yeah. See, they throws the gun, throws the vacuum off there to, his, to the other player. Maybe they want might want to use it. So. Yeah, these bugs are, uh, that are infected are always problematic, but. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be challenging. But I like I like the challenge. This is good. This is very nice. And the goo bomber, that's been infected. That that this what isn't was not shown or visit you know it's not been spawned in the game ever so this is gonna be a new thing so goo bombers are now infected and as you can see it drops uh that that lithophage stuff at the bottom and obviously a breeder these things are annoying no one likes them but uh as a, as an infected it's gonna be interesting as you can see it looks like it looks like it's just, it's just dropping the, the the um infested infested maggots the, the, which i usually get it in um Infected, infected bugs. So that's not so bad. Oh, this might be problematic. This, this might be dangerous. Seeing bugs that spit these uh, projectiles at you. I've seen these before in, in in the current season. So we're probably gonna get more of these. So yeah, not good. Hmm. Just turn the volume up a bit here. There we go. Now, Stingtail, yeah, this is going to be... This one's an interesting one. I'm... It looks good. I like that. I like the idea. I like the concept of it. It looks like a, it looks like a scorpion. Um, this thing, it, it shoots out. It grabs you. Now, <laughs> hopefully, if latency is not an issue, you should be fine to, to dodge this. But if you're not, I can see this being a, a bit of a problem for people with lag. We'll see. But I, I, like, the, I like the concept of it. Yeah, so it stabs you if it if it pulls you close. There you go. It will be interesting to see what its weak point size. Probably going to be its mouth, like like most bugs. And the mouth is usually a weak point. Um, or this this area here along the body, or maybe this section. This section could be the weak point, destroying its uh, tail. But yeah, I like I like it. I like it. Very nice. And let's see the other one. Uh, ah, here we go. Glyphid, sep Glyphid septic spreader. So you can, I can, I can get, I can assume the the, the back there, as you saw, you just shot the abdomen there. That's the weak point. I can see this being a, being, definitely being a big problem on missions where you have to defend an area like uh, extraction. If it fires that stuff into the area, you're, you're in trouble. But again, we'll have to see. The jetpacks. Now this. This is nice. Um, I can see, yeah. I, I can't wait to use this. This is going to be a lot. This is going to be a lot of fun. I can see a lot of players making use of this, especially in uh, Has Five when you have um, when it's a three-three mission and you've got a lot of deep vertical verticality caverns and you need to traverse down. This is going to be really nice and and especially getting to those places that you can't get get to like Nitra and stuff. Usually, 
a scout would be would be needed for those things but this might be very nice and also in combat in heated situations you can jetpack out of danger yeah i like that it shows you the uh, this oh, oh, just shows you the uh if that from right that is the there yeah, this bar here yeah that's how much so it's, it's not going to be for probably going to be for like a few seconds i guess so that's still fine So this is where scout scout with dropping. I think I think the scout has the. I think it's a it's a it's an ability that all, all uh, dwarfs have is is the uh, the, the jetpack, the short five second drop you can suppress you know, su you know prevent yourself from falling down to your death. So that 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 might work as a good combo with this. So it's good. Nice little, nice little touches. I like this. This is what I like about Ghost Ship. They always add these small little things just to make it a bit more fun. It's great. Hats off to them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna try. I'll definitely be trying the random visor. So, I like it. Zod likes a challenge, or the or the Spud. The Spud likes a challenge in this. Oh, look at that. It changes your changes your your look as well. Hmm. Now, <laughs> this is um. I'm not sure about this, but I, I'm sure some people will enjoy it. I I might I might try it on a spare slot, but yeah, it randomizes everything on here, so you have to work with it. If it gives you, if it provides you with an achievement, I'll probably do it. But not my bag. But it, I guess if people are fed up of their current builds. Excuse me, and it won't say random. This can work. This can work, but uh, but again, all all builds are very situational. So every build is made for specific purpose. But I guess if you're having if you're having fun, this is this is this works fine. Yeah, why would? Hmm. Yeah. So with the armor stuff, I'm not I'm not fussed with the armor. I mean, I've always been a bit 50/50 on the armor side of things. I like some of them. I like I don't like some of them. It's bit, I, I like this this armor current armor. I like this one on the on the gunner. So mm, that's fine. But have it armless. I guess that's fine. I guess it's okay. I, c I can I can see why they've done that. It's, it makes sense, and I, I, providing more customization is good. So it's fine. Uh, yeah, it makes you know what I may, I may consider making some of mine sleep, you know, armless, as they say. Yeah. And here's a season, here's a season stuff. So here's a tree. Wow. There's a. It's going sideways now. Before it was going down to down uh, top to bottom. Now it's going from left to right. And uh, yeah, some nice, interesting things here. I can see some of the weapon skins do look interesting. Did look interesting. I like I like the look of them. Yeah, it's got the spikes on it. So basically, weapons covered with the lithophage stuff. Yeah. So same as before, really. But that's fine. I'm looking forward to it. And and from looks of this, from the looks of this, that means that we have to fight that boss, and that boss is going to drop something. That boss is going to drop probably uh, like segments or shards of that lithophage but the stuff we normally we've been, we've been collecting from season three it's going to be the same again but instead the boss is going to be dropping it and we've got to fill this up to get a uh, script good and this is what i like as well about drg if you miss out on a season don't worry you can always get it in these crates and there's low in most missions you'll always will find these crates and get the batteries and so it's it's all good yeah. it's great now this is good. I've never actually, I've never actually bought skins for DRG. Shocking enough, um, but this looks good. I like this this new cosmetic pack. I may have to consider investing in DRG, like giving them money because like they deserve it. They deserve every ounce of money. They've been making some good updates. Um, you know, I followed this game during uh, early access, and it's gotten better each time. And here we are right now, and it's already released. It's been released for a while now, and. It's they're still making good stuff. Look at this. 
Yeah, Bosco looks good on that one. Look back here. Bosco. There we go, look at that. Bosco looks pretty good. Decontaminated pack. Yeah. So yeah, the colours can be changed, I believe, on this, so yeah. It's, it's, that's fine, you can get colour color schemes to change the colours of these, but the armors look good. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm very very much looking forward to this uh, update. It's happening next, well, not next week. Uh, we've got about a week and a half. Yeah, week and a half left. Fifteen. So yeah. Well, I'd say from today it's about two weeks roughly. So I'm looking forward to this. Oh, I've I've pretty much done all the seasons. So I've just been playing to have fun and playing with randoms. It's always good. DRG is one of those games that it's, it's risen the bar for me in terms of randomization. It's not about it's not about your builds or anything. It's about it's very situational. It's it, it you got to play with the situation you're dealt with. That's what I like about DRG. That it, that's that's why most games have not yet gone to that level yet. You, you get a lot of PVE games out there which are of course randomized, but things are predictable. You can always predict something's going to happen and you can just get on with it. Whereas, whereas DRG, you don't know what to expect and when things go south, when things go really south, you have to just adapt. You have to adapt to the situation with your class and with it, you can work with your teammates to synergize you know, the mission. So yeah, this is this this is good. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this update and uh, yeah, it's a really good trailer. I was actually looking forward. I knew they were, they were, they were, the season was going to come to an end, and the, a new one was coming. So I was looking. For, I, well, I had a feeling the trailer would be out at some point, but yeah, it came out today, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very much pleased to see in this. Uh, if you haven't checked out DRG, get it, check on Steam, Deep Rock Galactic. Do check them out. Do buy it. It's a great game. Um, some people bought on on sale. Um, I think sometimes they offer a free weekend. I don't know if they do a free weekend when this comes out. They might do. It's just another way to convince players to, to buy it. So, but it's it's a well worth title. It's well worth title, I'd say, to, to have in your Steam library. And yeah, give it a try. And uh, as as always, if you haven't seen my stuff, uh, do check check me out on on uh, Twitch, Art of Zod at, you know, on Twitch. And uh, yeah, I'll be, I, I normally play this on Thursdays and Fridays usually. So yeah, I, I, if you want to watch me on there, feel free to do so. But yeah, I'm, I'm I think. Overall, I'm pleased with this trailer, and uh, yeah, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, if you like my videos and check out my art stuff, uh, feel free to subscribe, subscribe to my channel, and uh, yeah, hope you all have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.